Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name's Katie and today I'm going to be doing my most anticipated books for the rest of 2020. I like to keep up with new releases I guess. <laughs> um, it's always so exciting when like books that you're really highly anticipating are coming out and I guess sometimes they are a little bit disappointing but I don't know most of the time I feel like especially this year I've been quite impressed with a lot of the new releases um, and this, I'm so excited for 2021 as well. I'm already excited for like all my end of the year videos because like in 2021 we've got like Jade Legacy, um, that's the only one I can think of right now. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking about books that are coming out from now when I'm filming, I don't know when this will be up, um, until the end of the year. So yeah, so the first one I'm going to mention just because feel like it's the super obvious one so I have to get this out of the way first and that is Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson which is the fourth book in the Stormlight Archive and yes I'm the Stormlight Archive is like my favourite series ever so obviously I'm highly anticipating this one and the cover oh it's so gorgeous I have a whole video where I just talk about the cover and gush about the cover <laughs> maybe come up with a few theories um which some of them I think are wrong, as people pointed out in the comments of that video. But yeah, we'll just ignore the facts and just cruise on. But anyway, so I'm very excited for that one. I think it's going to be so good. And yeah, I'm very excited to see where it goes because I think this book maybe is going to like determine the direction for the series. Well, although actually no, I don't think that's true because... It's the fourth book, so I feel like it's probably going to be setting up the fifth book. If you didn't know, the Stormlight Archive is like, it's going to be a ten book series, but it's going to be in two halves. And I think the two halves are going to be quite different from each other. So this book is like almost coming to the end of the first big like arc. So yeah, that's um, exciting, kind of, and sad. Because I feel like a lot of characters are going <laughs> to be leaving us. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to think about that. And another massive release is The Burning God, which is the third book in the Poppy War series. And from like, some, so some people have had arcs of this and everyone just says it's completely like devastating and it will break you. And I know I shouldn't be like <laughs> looking forward to that. But I, yeah, I feel like I need to manage my expectations because I tend to like happy endings in fantasy. And I feel like The Burning God is not going to be that. But also I feel like that kind of fits the like tone of the books. So I'm just hoping we get some like really kind of impactful scenes with the characters before we have to say goodbye to them. <laughs> so I'm so excited and I have every faith that it's going to be like an excellent conclusion to the trilogy because yeah, um... And R.F. Kwong is definitely now like an auto by author for me. I'm definitely going to read her like next series, whatever she does after The Poppy War. I'm really excited for The Bitten God. So yeah, they're both coming out. So I believe um, Rhythm of War is the 17th of November. And then Burning God in the UK, I think is the 19th of November. Um, So yes, they're the release dates. I'm going to try and do the release dates as well. And also in usual chaotic fashion, this video might not be exactly in order. <laughs> because we're just kind of, um, I've just got my like list here, um, super organised. So. so the next is going to be A Memory of the Bell. So this comes out on the 6th, 8th, 8th of September. And this is the third book in the Mirror Visitor Quartet. And um, the first one is called A Winter's Promise. And this is, um, this is a book is actually already out in French, but these are just the translations that are coming out. And I've really been loving the series on audio, actually. So I've pre-ordered the audio book. And yes, I'm just really excited for this one because the last one kind of ended on a bit of like a... I might have to reread it, I feel like, because I, I adore The Missing of Claire de Lune. That's this, the second book in the series. It's like one of my favourite um, YA fantasies. At the ending, it's kind of interesting and I'm really intrigued for this next book like what's gonna happen and yeah this series is just a very kind of unique um YA fantasy it's like set in this world where there's these like poles and the world's sort of been shattered so there's just these like floating cities each pole has kind of a different theme so it, it mainly takes place on the arc which is kind of a wintry it's like wintry and um yeah, we follow Ophelia, who's quite like shy, and she can sort of read objects like memories when she touches them. And she just gets, so she gets sent to this like wintry 
pole pole arc can't remember if pole is the name of the difference and arc is the name of the one that she goes to or if arc is the name of the things and the pole is the name of the one she goes to but anyway and so yeah so she gets sent there to be married to this very um kind of aloof figure called thorn and um they're just they're so adorable and um there's just it's just a complete disaster of a romance <laughs> um and yeah she just very much gets embroiled with like the politics in this arc and there's kind of also these like godlike figures this bit the kind of a mystery surrounding them it's just very intriguing and there's so much going on and it's just so good so yeah i would highly recommend that series if you're looking if you're kind of not so like enamoured with YA fantasy anymore. That series is very kind of unique and I really enjoy it. I've been talking about it for like five minutes for each book. <laughs> oh shut up Katie. So then next is Hollypox. So this book was meant, to, <laughs> was meant to be coming out like February originally but then it got pushed back to August and now it's been pushed back again to October. So hopefully we get it in October because I've had this book pre-ordered for ages. <laughs> this is the third book in the Nevermore series which is the story of Morrigan Crow and she goes to this magical world called Nevermore um, on her 11th birthday because she believes she's cursed but then in this um in like Nevermore she has to undergo these trials to like um get into this kind of secret society slash school thing <laughs> and then in the second book it's kind of in the school setting and they're trying to like solve this mystery and then yeah the third book I'm guessing we're just following like her and her adventures with her friends and also I feel like Jessica Townsend, who's the author, has said this book is going to be kind of the like pivotal one for this series. So I'm expecting very like, I have very high expectations. <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully it's a good. Um, but yes, we'll see. Okay, so then next, so we have some sequels. Well, I guess the ones that I've mentioned so far have also been sequels. Yeah, I have one or two like new releases, but most of them are sequels. <laughs> The next one is The Queen of Vaults, which is the third book in the Ace of Shades series. So I have Ace of Shades and King of Fools there. And I'm just really anticipating the ending of this series because, I mean, it's been a while since I read those two. Um, like at least a year, I think. And I really love them. So hopefully it holds up. It's kind of almost this like Las Vegas type setting. And yeah, the magic's really cool. And it's just, it's kind of a bit like, gangstery feeling um but with also kind of quite a precious like found family um and yeah i just really love it the characters just really kind of latched on to me so um yeah i'm excited for the end one and the ending of king of fools as well is quite like dramatic so i'm interested to see how it concludes it's a lot of conclusions actually and then also the Iron Heart, which is the sequel to Cryer's War, which comes out on the 14th of October. I'm very excited for that one as well, because I love Cryer's War. It's kind of the kind of like whole like princess and the bodyguard type trope and the like secret trying to kill each other. And yeah, it's just it was so good. So um, I'm excited for the sequel. But I can't really remember what happened in the first one, to be honest. So I think I might have to um, reread quite as well before that one comes out and then also the ever cruel kingdom which comes out in november i believe the 10th of november and that is a sequel to the never tilting world which i have here and this is another one of my favorite like YA fantasies i just loved it so much it kind of reminds me a bit of frozen there's like these two sisters but they've been like separated at birth and one lives in kind of the cold half of the world and the other one lives in the like hot half of the world and um, the first book is then basically like going on little quests like separately with different the, and there's also other characters in there like spheres, <laughs> bubbles, <laughs> COVID bubbles. No, um, and they both are travelling to this big like rift in the centre. And that's kind of where the la the the first book finishes off. So um I'm interested to see like the kind of fallout of what happened at the end of the that book and then just yeah see what happens in this book because I just love the characters so much and the romances oh they're both so good I mean Chepeke does romance so well yeah because I tend to be quite fussy with my romances in like fantasy books especially but Rin Chepeke always like hits the mark because the Bane Witch has such great romances as well so yeah then this next one I can't decide if I'm excited for it or not because I like this author but also this is the kind of one of her books that I'm like 
it sounds the least appealing to me. And that is The Invisible Life of Adi, Li Adi de la Rue <laughs> um, by V. Schwab. So yeah, so I, I think this tells the story of like um, Adi de la Rue, who is invisible. <laughs> um, and it's just kind of following her journey through time, I guess. Um, I don't know, I feel like there's a devil character. Um, I don't know much about it, but I don't know if I'm excited for it or not because I don't, I'm not that, I don't really like the sound of the premise. It sounds kind of boring. And also it, it um, I've heard it's quite literary compared to other books and I don't tend to love literary fiction. So we'll see. I might absolutely love this book. Well, I'll probably read it, let's be real. <laughs> um, and if I got an arc, I would be very excited. But um, yeah, I just, I feel like it's not a super anticipated release for me. I don't know. Yeah, I'm conflicted about that one. So yeah. So then next we have um some like new release standalones. Well, they might not be standalones, but they're like completely new series. <laughs> so the first one is The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrow. And this comes out on the 15th of October, I think. And um, I've actually already read this one because I got an ARG, um, which was so exciting. It was like one of the first ARGs I got. So my net galley career. <laughs> um, and yes, I love this one so much. So if you're watching this video to like get some ideas for new releases, then I would definitely put this one on your list because it's just like, yeah, it's kind of witchy vibes, but also like there's these three sisters. It's very much a book of kind of sisterhood and motherhood and like feminism and kind of almost like quiet feminism. Um, and yeah, the witchy vibes, it's just like perfect autumn vibes. And the writing is so beautiful and lyrical as well. And you're just like completely transported. So yeah, I would highly recommend this one. And the cover is just gorgeous as well. So yeah. And then also The Bane Shard's Daughter, which comes out on the 10th of September, which I'm very excited for this one because I believe it's a sapphic fantasy, I think. And also has like bone magic slash maybe necromancy. And I recently read Gideon and love that. So um, yeah, I'm really excited for this one. And if, I've seen very good reviews so far of like people who've had arcs. I haven't been approved for the arc, but... I'm very excited for it anyway <laughs> even i mean the 10th of september is not that far away like i'm filming this on like the 19th of august so that's only like 20 days <laughs> um but yeah so i'm very excited then another arc which i've already read but i'm also i'm definitely gonna buy this like physically when it comes out and that's tea dragon tapestry by katie o'neill and this is the third book in the tea dragon society and thing so i read the tea dragon society like online because you can read that for free and i didn't love it like it was cute and stuff but then i read tea dragon tapestry the like arc and oh i loved it so much it's another like really autumny book it's kind of yeah it just had so many like great messages and like heartwarming messages and just to kind of like finding your place if you've like moved somewhere and just finding your kind of new place and like missing home but also ha like learning to let go of home and just finding your place in this like new world <laughs> and just like and also caring for people who are struggling with like grief and yeah there's just so many messages and the art style is it's so beautiful and yes it was just so precious so yeah and I also really want a tea dragon plushie oh they're so cute but yeah, I don't feel like I can justify that <laughs> to myself. But um, yeah, so I, I would highly recommend Tea Dragon Tapestry. That comes out on the 15th of September. Okay, then next we have A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. And this one comes out on the 29th of September. And this is her new book, which I believe follows a kind of magical school setting. That's all I really know about it. But I love Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. And I've also read Uprooted, which I really enjoyed that one as well. So she has very like magical atmospheric writing. So I'm very anticipating this one as well. And the cover is really pretty. I love the UK cover. Well, I think the US one's the same, just a different color. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that one. Although I haven't seen the best like early reviews, but I'm still, I'm still excited. <laughs> so yeah. And then also we have These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. And this one is a Romeo and Juliet retelling and it's set in Shanghai. 
and it's like these kind of gangsters so I'm actually reading the arc for this one at the moment I'm only about 20% in but I, I'm really enjoying it it's like quite fun it's kind of almost like a it's a bit over the top but I feel like it's kind of that kind of like almost Shakespearean style of over the top um so yeah it's really fun and um I'm really liking the writing actually so I feel like it's kind of living up to its premise because I mean that's like a high bar to set yourself like gangster Romeo and Juliet <laughs> type thing so yeah um that's another one that I'm like excited for it to come out and for more people to read so then um, a few more sequels so A Sky Beyond the Storm which comes out on the 1st of December I believe and that is the fourth book in the Ember and the Ashes quartet so that's another like concluding <laughs> novel um, which is very exciting and I really enjoyed the series I read this I first read the series like ages ago like when I was about 16 or 17 like way before I discovered booktube but I really loved it then and then I reread it like about a year ago and I still really enjoyed it so yeah um, I'm really excited for the last book Um, I don't really know where it's gonna like go especially in terms of relationships because uh, yeah that's kind of it's interesting so yeah we'll see um, and then also The Tower of Nero, which is the final book in the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan. Um, I think that comes out on the 29th of September. And I'm very excited for this one because I love the Trials of Apollo series. Apollo is just, oh, I love him. Uh, he's so funny. Uh, yeah, I would if you like Percy Jackson and you haven't read Trials of Apollo, I would highly recommend you do because, yeah, it's just hilarious. <laughs> okay, and then we also have the Iskar Falcon, I think that's how you say it, which is the sequel to The Wolf of Orin Yarrow, which I read by K.S. Beloso. And I read The Wolf of Orin Yarrow in June. And I'm really excited for the sequel because I think it's going to be very, like, interesting. These books are quite character-focused and it's almost like a character study in each one. So I think we're going to get the character I think we're going to be following is really, I think, going to be a fascinating character to follow. Because in the first one, we're following Talian, who's like this queen. And she's very much, um, she has this kind of like reputation for being quite ruthless. But she's kind of had to become like that because um, she was married and then her husband like ran away straight after they were married. Who He was meant to be king. Um, and then he ran away and disappeared so she's kind of taken over this role and she has to kind of be quite assertive and yes but then this car falcon i don't know if it's going to be following the husband who like vanished so i think that's going to be very interesting um yeah so i'm excited for that one that one comes out on the 24th of september a couple more so we have sky hunter by marie lou which comes out on the 29th of september so I don't really know anything about this one except it's by Marie Lou. <laughs> it's got a very pretty cover and I believe it's sci-fi which is cool. So yeah I'm excited for that one. I might not read that one like straight when it comes out but that one's definitely going to be like on my radar. And then finally we have the Athena Protocol which comes out on the 8th of September. And I also can't remember a lot about this, <laughs> but I believe it's like got something to do with spies. Um, I believe it's sapphic as well, um, which it sounds really cool. So yeah, I'm very excited for that one. And um, I will tell you more about it once I've read it because <laughs> I don't know anything. But yeah, it sounds so cool. I should really do more research, but you know. We're filming this video for a break from studying geriatrics and incontinence. So, <laughs> um, yes, I can't be bothered to go back downstairs and look it up on my laptop. But anyway, that's, I'm not a very professional booktuber, <laughs> but that's okay. Cause I just do it as like a hobby. So my videos don't have to be perfect. <laughs> um, okay. So that got a bit deep there for a second. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any anticipated releases, that I didn't mention that are coming out in 2020 that you think I would be interested in or you think other people would be interested in definitely leave them below because I would love to know and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time